In this first question, it states it asks you what does the nucleus of a human lymph lymphocyte contain, and it's a bit of a general question which wants to test you about what um, genetic information is inside any kind of cell. In this case, a human lymphocyte. So only the genes to produce a specific antigen A. The principle that they want you to know is that for the majority of the cells, the vast majority of cells, they all have the ability and their genetic information to form any other type of cell. So the library has a complete section, a collection of books, but only a certain collection of books, only some of those books are available to be borrowed, if you understand that analogy. So the nucleus of a human lymphocyte contains only the genes to produce a specific antigen. This is incorrect because it has contains all the information that's necessary. Only the genes to produce a range of antibodies. No, that's incorrect as well. Only the genes that control the growth and development of a lymphocyte. No. The answer is D. The whole genetic information for a human. You can actually clone a human from um, a human lymphocyte cell as well as a human hair cell or any other kind of cell as long as it has the complete genetic information and that's what it does have. Question number two. Which of the following is a cause of sickle cell anemia? So sickle cell anemia is uh, one of those base substitution mutations that uh, you would have learnt about where one particular nitrogenous base gets replaced by another one. So in this case, the codon GAG gets turned into GTG. So see how there's this one change? This is the change on the DNA. So the DNA that's along here. And then say one of them, one of them here, that might have been changed. So that goes from an A to a T. So that's a base substitution mutation. So you can look that up if you're a bit unsure of what that is. The important thing to know about this question is that because of this base substitution mutation, then you actually have the resultant, resulting protein or polypeptide. Um, it goes from glutamic acid to valine. And I don't really have any tricky way that you can remember it. Um, but I guess like G is actually before V. So yeah, so think that G just goes to V and it's not the other way around. Okay, so if you look, if you scan down, then it's over here. Glutamic acid is replaced by valine. So that's this answer here. In some people, hemoglobin always contains the amino acid valine in place of a glutamic acid at one position in the protein. And what is the cause of this? So this is exactly the reverse question of what we had before in regards to um, a sickle cell anemia. So um, let's have a look at the different answers. So A, an error in transcription of the hemoglobin gene. So they're talking about how the DNA would be normal, but then once you go to the mRNA, which is transcribed, they're saying that this is where the key error is, because it says an error in transcription of the hemoglobin gene. That's incorrect because we know that the, that the change in the nitrogenous base is, uh, on, is on the DNA. And because it's on the DNA, then it subsequently, gets uh, it subsequently gets transcribed to have a wrong codon, which then has a wrong anticodon from the tRNA, which finally has a wrong polypeptide. Okay. So, B, an error in translation now. So we're talking about translation. We know that's incorrect as well. It's not translation where the problem is. It's, a, it's an error of the DNA. It's where the DNA goes wrong. A lack of glutamic acid in the diet. So now they're talking about the very end with the polypeptide. The anticodon is being read correct, but there's not enough um, 
uh, glutamic acid to make the polypeptide, which is completely wrong. The final one is correct, a base substitution in the haemoglobin gene. Haemoglobin genes referring to DNA, which is what we talked about above here. So this is the correct answer. Question number four. The sequence of the first six amino acids of the normal beta haemoglobin chain are listed. Valine, histidine, leucine, threonine, proline and glutamic acid. Which sequence of amino acids could there be in the first six amino acids of the sickle cell beta haemoglobin chain? So we know that beta haemoglobin is one of the parts of haemoglobin. It's an important part of the molecule which belongs in your red blood cells that carries the oxygen. And with sickle cell anemia, they really love sickle cell anemia. So if you want to learn something about learn, learn sickle cell anemia well, they want to know what kind of change would be in the protein or polypeptide sequence, the sequence of amino acids. So AKA protein or even polypeptide sequence. So what did we say before? The thing that we said before is that because it's in alphabetical order, GA or glutamic acid goes to become valine. So that's very simple. Now let's backtrack to above here, where it gives us the first six amino acids of the normal one. So this is the normal beta hemoglobin chain, the normal gene. And once it becomes the sickle cell gene, or the sickle cell mutation or mutant, then something will change. GA will become valine. So this one at the very end will become valine. Let's look for them. So the ones that are, have valine at the very end. This, this one, A, as well as D. So we can get rid of B and C. So if we look at the rest of them, uh, the rest of the amino acids, then the remaining amino acids should be exactly the same. So valine, histidine, leucine, threonine, and proline. And that's D here. Valine, histidine, leucine, threonine, and proline with a final mutant of valine at the very end. So D is the correct answer. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out. Just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a seven in high level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right hand corner. Thanks.